Hi everyone, this is a quick one from me. A few days back, I saw on the net a young girl married to an Italian crying for help. If you know, go through that clip, you will say that there were lots of views and comments, but at the end, no help. So my point is this. I'm not against, no. I'm not saying you shouldn't share what you are going through on social media and all. My dear, before you do that, always have everything. Put yourself down. Reflect. Try to see where you've missed it. You see, getting married to the white man, I'm not against it. Sometimes it is favor favorable. Sometimes it is the other way around. And I can tell you, those that it favor, we you know, those that came 30, 25 years ago, not now. Because the white man, the white woman, their eyes are open now. Take it or leave it. So thinking that you that is 25 or 23, 26, getting married to a white man that is 70, 65, uh, you can handle him and all. Getting married to a white woman that is of that age, you can handle her. My dear, you are deceiving yourself. You know why? Most of these people are broken people. They are broken people. Most of them, I'm not generalizing, most of them have nothing to offer. Take it or leave it. Because you are living under their roof, they are making cafe for you, they buy flour for you. That's what they can offer to them. Because they've missed it. Someone used them before and dumped them. So, if God is not taken, they will avenge the anger on you. Take it or leave it. A man or a woman that is 60, 65, getting married to a girl or a boy of 25, 30, knows the rudiment of marriage. Knows what he or she wants in marriage. It is you that feels, I want to cheat this man or cheat this woman that is deceiving him. It's ourself. Take it or leave it. If you see these people, even the white men or women like them, you can't even accept them. So they choose to go for eh? You people, if it is that sweet and easy, why are the young white men and women not coming after you people? Even if they, they come after you people, their family will be against it. Their family will be against it. But when they are old and broken, eh, eh, African woman, you can carry now. African man, you can carry now. Why they are young, they will not. They will be against the marriage. Tormenting the boy or tormenting the girl. Ask those that are in. They will tell you. They will attest to this. So my advice for you, be careful with these people because they are broken people. They carry the hurt from their past relationship. They carry it to the present. So anytime you want to make any strange movement, they already know. They will join, eh, this one want to make look at a movement. Okay. And they will vent that anger on you. That is why you see all this tragic event, death, and all that is happening. They suspect. Probably, eh, he wants to go with, uh, with a young woman. Uh, no. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be careful out there. The people you want to impress, you want to labor for, I'm not saying you shouldn't help your people back home, but most of these people, they are doing well. Take it or leave it. They are doing well. Very few that are not. So just do the one you can. Look for a young boy or a young girl that you, can, you labor together. And by the grace of God, you will enjoy together. Instead of risking your life for your family. And oh, it is not the best. So if you are going through this, my dear, have everything. If you are doing it because you don't have documents and all, I pray that God will help you. You will have your documents. Have a good job and have a good home. 
we see them all the time. Sometimes when we are, you know, I'm, I'm a fashion designer, we are doing our project and all. And they share their stories, you feel for them also. But in all, you don't pity to marry. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. Be wise. One came to me one day and she was just saying, hey, he's doing this for me. I said, what is this white man doing for you? Buying you flowers, cafe, taking you to city centers and all. Is that all you want in life? I opened her eyes and her brain. Thank God she's married to a black man, a black young guy now. They have two kids. Because I, I talked to, I told her, this man is broken. He has nothing to offer. Man of 68. He has nothing to offer you, my dear. That is why he is not even following you for love. He's monitoring you. I told her. She said yes. He's monitoring you because the blood you are giving him, you want to go and give to another. Eh? So he's monitoring your movement. Thank God. She did to the advice and today she's okay. And I give God all the glory. That at least I was able to eh, help one. So if you are the type, please have a routine. If they are under the fari kwakosa pete, they fari kwakosa pete, they fari kwakosa. No chenye te da fari. Very few can help. Very few. You know Italians. If they are okay, they can't even come after you. Take it or leave it. Fari kwakosa de kosa. Master Lasha Quello, simply story. Go for the one that will you know, help you to fulfill destiny. Go for your fellow brothers, sisters that will help you. And with the help of God, you will get there. I pray that this short clip will help a lot of you know, young ones out there to have a routine and take the right direction. Amen.